Hi, oh yeah. welcome to another five minute session. And this time it's just creating five different base shapes that is really good to know when you start creating your own patterns and masking out stuff and so on. So I prepared some stuff, but it's old news. So this part here, the scale and fraction is just to get repetitive pattern. And in this time we do the repetition four times since we have the scale of four. The other part here is to move the UV so we get it in the center. So this will be zero in this case after we have moved it. And then we have a negative one here and a positive one here. To have a positive one on both sides, then we use an absolute. And that we already know. So I just go into the patterns, some old and some new. So the first one is just length. If we have the center in the middle, then the length will give uh, points like this. Uh, since this is not like a real circle, we just add a subtract and then we get it in this direction instead. And now it looks like a really nice circle here. So that we already know. This one I think is new, diagonal squares. Here we just add X and Y. And since we use the absolute here, it will then add so it looks mirrored in all the four directions and uh, we start with something like this but then we inverse it by using the subtract of one so if we do that we then get these diagonal squares here so that is really good if you want to make i don't know stars together with normal squares and this diagonal squares then you have some type of square uh, some type of star uh, then the simple fence could be good to have. Uh, very easy using just uh, compare. And you know by now that if X and Y have the same value, this will be true, which is white out. So since they are then adding in the same speed uh, value, then it will be a diagonal pattern. And how wide the fence will be, that decides by the epsilon here. So you can make it really thin or you can make it wider. It's up to you when you put in compare here. You can of course do fences in a smoother way than this, uh, but uh, in some cases it's good with just black and white mask and then this is how you do a fence. And then we have the tiles that we have worked with before. So it looks really nice here. And we do then uh, the uh, smooth maximum to get smooth corners here because, because if we just use maximum we get these squares here and it also have this ugly cross in the center here but with the smooth maximum we get rid of that and we get smooth in the corners and we can with distance decide how we would like to have it and to make it look good we inverse it with a subtract of one here as well and then we have the tiles and last then we have triangles so they look like this it's new for us we have not done these before and the triangles they have they use the absolute here because i don't want it to be mirrored in all direction i just want it to be mirrored in the left and the right direction so i only put the absolute on the x-axis and not on the y-axis so if you look here you can see that i do not use the absolute for the last pattern but i take it directly from the multiply and then uh, we have the as you remember center here but now we still have a negative here and a positive here and that is good in the y direction but not in the x direction so in the x direction we would like it to be mirrored so we get this but in the y direction we just want it to go on so to say so we just create uh, a point up here uh, so we mirror it and i multiply it because i would like this to grow a bit since we use an absolute we cut like half the value because now we have like uh, zero, 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and in the other one it, it's uh, not an absolute so here is like the complete value so by adding 2 we get 
the same range, so to say, from top to bottom and left to right. Uh, we subtract it and as usual to make it look good, because now it look, doesn't look good, we use the subtract here as well to, to add. And then you can use it from the top or you can use it from the bottom depending on the direction that you would like to have. So those are the patterns that we have here and that can help you. So circle, diagonal squares, fence, tiles and the triangles. So hope you learned something this session as well and we'll see you tomorrow and I just say bye for now.